Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel, The Cheryl Hubbard Show. So glad you're going to be here. Glad you can join me. Glad you made it. Glad you can be here. Uh, so today, uh, welcome to The Cheryl Hubbard Show on my YouTube channel. So uh, today I'm back, 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 back with another video. Uh, another video pertaining to my Entree Perineural uh, series, my entrepreneurial segment. So today I want to talk about uh, just a few things. Uh, I guess I would call this video things you need to know. Things you need to know when you want to become an entrepreneur. Uh, things you need to know when you're running a business, starting a business. So let's get this ball rolling. So first, uh, just want to read a few little things that I have, uh, you know, on my, uh, you know, a few things in my notes, you know, just a few things you need to know when you want to, you know, you want to be on, you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to run a business, you know, running a business, starting a business, uh, um, building a business, building a brand, building your brand, you know, so let's get this ball rolling. Okay, first. First things first, first, uh, you always want to start out with your business plan. You know, you have a business plan, you need a plan. What uh, are your goals and strategies? What are your goals for your business? You know, um, you know, do you plan on starting your business uh, five years from now, one year from now, two years from now, two years from now, or do you plan on starting like right now? Uh, what are your plans? What are your goals? What are what strategies are you going to, you know, implement? So that's the first thing. And then, uh, like I did said in my other video, have a tablet. Have a tablet where you can jot down uh, all the important things. Like I had these tablets on my website. Mm -hmm. So I had these on my website. So and then I um, have some more that's coming. Just regular, you know, tablets. And, uh, you know, the back is plain. But you know, you know, it's my uh, my uh, logo on it. Shirley Cosmetics. So, you know, you can order these right off my website. Now, I will have other items on my website short, shortly, but right now I'm just waiting on some more orders from Amazon. So, and uh, so I do have a uh, you know, some items right here that I'll talk about shortly, but just want to go over a few things on my list. And another thing, uh, first thing, like I said, uh, marketing plan, marketing strategy. First of all, just get a tablet. Tablet can be your first, uh, you know, first thing you need to know. First thing you need to have when you're running a business, a tablet, so you jot down everything. You want to keep up with your accounting. Your accounting books. You want to keep up with uh, your products. How many products did you sell for that day? How many orders came in? You know, all your customers' information, your customers' names, customers' email addresses, uh, phone numbers, addresses, you know, post office boxes or what have you. You know, whatever information you need and whatever information you want to maintain uh, when you're running your business. That's why it's good to bring in those information systems. And I have some videos too on my YouTube channel talking about information systems because every business needs uh, information system, whether it's a pen or paper. You have to bring that information in so you can keep up with uh, the trends in the market, information on your customers, information on your employees, manufacturers, suppliers. You need a system. You need some type of system. It doesn't have to be a computer system. The system can be pen and paper, magic markers, or it could be a chalkboard, whatever system you want to set up to maintain and keep that information flowing within your organization, within your corporation. So uh, my major was information system down Australia University. So we learned that an information system doesn't have to be a computer. It doesn't have to be technology. That's why they have the other term, information technology. So you can use technology also to bring that information in. In other words, you have somebody doing spreadsheets. Uh, you have somebody, like I said, working in your accounting department, bringing in that information, you know. Creating that information, those income statements, those balance sheets, the statement of owner's equity, those type of things, that is information that you're generating, that you are uh, making available for your, you know, in your business, for your business, in your business. Auditors come around, 
um, you know, your business needs to be audited, you know, that comes under financial accounting. So your credit unions, your auditors, you know, and then you have uh, managerial accounting when you're maintaining information. Managers maintain information within the organization to make uh, viable, valuable, pertinent inf uh, uh, decisions. Pertinent, in uh, pertinent information coming in to make that those important decisions. Th that is that comes under managerial accounting, and that's what managers do. So let's start. Let's say let's let's move on to number three. Okay, number one. Get your tablet. Number two, uh, strat, uh, your uh, marketing plan slash business plan, how you're going to sell, what products you're going to sell, whatever you want in your plan, your pricing, whatever plan, you know, you want to start your business five years from now or next year or in six months. So put all that down on your plan. So marketing plan, strategies, creating your strategies, and then you, you, know, you have your tablet. So then the next one is number three, remain relevant. Remain relevant. Remain relevant in your customers, uh, your customers' eyes. You know, remain relevant. You don't want to start a business that then you create a product nobody wants, you know, so remain relevant. You know, you want to have something that is unique. You want to have something that's uh, trendy in the market. So I don't want to go and start selling like, what if I started? I had a business like right now. I'm selling fur coats. You know that is not that is that would not help me remain relevant. I want to remain relevant. I want to create a product that's unique or a service that's unique that I know customers are going to want. Sometimes it's good to test test your product or your service in the market and see how customers, uh, you know, react to it, react to your product, react to your services. So that's a good thing right there. So the next one is. Uh, focus more on things that bring satisfactory results. So focus more on things that bring satisfactory results. In other words, you have, uh, say for instance, um, I'm about to launch my lip gloss uh, business and I'll be offering uh, probably starter kits, lip, different flavors, different color lip glosses. So I want to focus more on the things that's going to bring me satis satisfactory results. So when I put my products out there, my, you know, whatever colors I want, pigments I'm using, whatever uh, ingredients I'm using, oils or, you know, different types of oils that I'm using, you know, I want to make sure that, uh, that I'm focusing more on the results, you know. So in other words, I want to see how my customers take to my products. So once I put all my products out there and then I see how... Uh, you know, my target market reacts to the product that I'm uh, marketing, then, you know, because it's going it's to be based on results. So if I put some, in that same place that I put a, pro, I put a product out there, I put a lip gloss, uh, I put one particular color out there, but then I put five or six other colors out there. And, you know, I might put my glitters in, my pigments and my different oils, certain types of oils that I'll be using. So what if I put uh those lip gloss uh samples out there in the marketplace but then i had one that the customers didn't take to nobody nobody purchased so that would not be a good result so i would look at it like that too so in other words you want to put out <coughs> something that customers want customers need something that's trendy in the market so you have to find out where your target market is what type of uh products your target your target market wants and you got to know exactly where are you going to target your customers? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, everybody don't be on a computer. You know, then you have, uh, most, most people are on their mobile phones. So email marketing, text message marketing. So in other words, you got a, you have a product. In other words, I have four or five different flavors of lip glosses. I can send a separate picture of those different flavors right out as text, send it right out as text message in or, or email, you know. Send an email with a little message. Hey, this is my this is my launch date. Um, and this is the color lip gloss that I want to be marketing. You know, and this is made with such and such. You know, put all the ingredients and you know check. Here's my website, my my business phone. You know, check me out. You know, something like that. That's why I say focus more on those things that bring satisfactory results. And the next thing is don't let obstacles uh, prevent you from doing better. Don't let obstacles prevent you from doing better. You know, always try to improve. 
you want to always try to improve. So in other words, uh, if you, in other words, if, if just say for instance, I'm a company and I'm selling uh, all these different lip gloss flavors. Um, I'm selling all these different lip gloss flavors and I, um, you know, uh, I see a great need. I see a great need and a great want for, um, you know, certain flavors, but certain ones that I put out on the market, I didn't get any response. You know, I have never gotten any response, but, you know, hopefully that won't, that won't happen. But then, so that, that would be an obstacle. And then I probably had to make some changes. Sometimes you have to, uh, stop, go back to the drawing board and start over, you know, say, Hey, what, what is the problem with this flavor? Why do, uh, why don't any of my customers, you know, uh, like this particular flavor? Is it the way you present it in your pictures? I mean, you know, you know, is it the way I presented it in my pictures, my Instagram, uh, my, my, uh, YouTube videos or my, um, on my website. So, you know, go back to the drawing board. Sometimes you had to re re recuperate, start all over and see what you did wrong and maybe make some changes. So sometimes you have to be innovative and creative when it comes to business. So the next one I have, uh, know your competitors, know your competitors. So I'm really not trying to compete with nobody in the lip gloss, lip gloss cosmetic industry. I'm just trying to do what I do and do the best, be the best Shirley Cosmetics that I can be, you know, but the next one says know your competitors. So I need to know who's, who else, uh, who else is selling this, uh, you know, these lip gloss tubes, these lip gloss, um, we have the squeeze tube, we have the, um, uh, wand tubes, so tubes, who else is selling this lip gloss, these lip glosses? You know, different lip gloss, uh, different uh, cosmetic companies. So I want to do, I want to do research on, uh, you know, a lot of other cosmetic companies. So, yeah, I want to do research on all, you know, other cosmetic companies to see what they're doing. So that is the, you know, that's when they say, you know, know your competitors. What are these other, what are these other, uh, cosmetic companies selling? I know that some people, you know, some companies are doing eyelashes, you know, so I may decide to do eyelashes with eyelash cases. And uh, some of them are doing different, you know, texture of eyelashes, false eyelashes, different, um, uh, you know, 3D mink eyelashes, mink eyelashes. Uh, some people selling, uh, you know, Body butter, uh, hair growth bombs, you know, lip, different flavor lip glosses. It, it depends, you know, do your research, benchmark, find, always find out what other companies are doing. Sometimes you can see what other companies are doing and say, hey, I can do something a little, a little different than that. And I can do something maybe, in my opinion, a little better. So that's how you have to think. You know, sometimes not, there's nothing wrong with acknowledging other, um, companies as well. So there's nothing wrong with, with with acknowledging other companies too. So you know. So in other words, know your competitors. So next is uh, complementary businesses. So in other words, you want to deal with uh, find out when you when you benchmarking, you benchmarking you you know you can find out other complementary businesses. Some businesses so. These businesses are different from your competitors. So, you know, these businesses are different. Your complimentary, uh, complimentary. Sometimes these little bundles, you know, you have to keep them a little, you know, like them look all wow. Okay. So complimentary businesses, uh, are businesses, businesses that complement your business, not businesses that you feel you have to compete against, you know, complimentary businesses. So, in other words, uh, sometimes you can support other businesses that's selling the same thing, things you are selling or maybe selling some, some different things. So, you know, try to find some complimentary businesses that can help your business grow. You can learn from other companies and they can learn from you. Just like, uh, you know, creating a learning organization. So the next one is, uh, what can you learn from this company? You know, that's how you got to think. So everything is not a competition. And then, um... So another one I have, let's see what's next. Also, uh, create a to-do list. 
create a to-do list. Uh, a, 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 a to-do list, you know. It could be a digital to-do list. In other words, create a to-do list. You know, make it on a computer. It's a digital, uh, a digital list that you can save in the cloud is, uh, right, is, is more beneficial. Not beneficial, but it's more, uh, Oh, it's it's, been, it's more beneficial and it's easier easier to edit. So it's it's beneficial and it's easier to edit than pen and paper. You know, so in other words, uh, saving all your information in the cloud. You know, so create a digital to do this. Also, the next uh, one I have is um, understand your customers. Understand your customers. Respect your customers. Uh, you know, do that by improving customer service. Uh, establish loyalty. Uh, establish loyalty with your customers. So, in other words, you uh, you want to um, establish loyalty. Uh, understand your customers. You know, when you're creating your products, you definitely want to create a strong brand. You want to create a strong, uh, pro positive, uh, quality product. A quality product, you know, something that your customers can say, "Hey, well, I like this product." You know, she when I order from her or I order from him, the packaging is on point. You know, um, packaging is on point. Uh, when she delivered, when, when when she when her business delivers or when his business delivers is on time. You know, and if everything is in the package that I ordered and. Customer service is on point. You know, I really like her brand. I like the colors. You know, I like her colors. I like, I just like the way she brand. I like the way she carry herself, the way she carry her company. You know, I like the, I like the way he carried himself. You know, he carried himself uh, very well. Uh, so, that's that one. And then let me see another one. Yeah, establish loyalty. And um, your, your customers want to make sure you, loyal, you are loyal to them. And all, another one. Maximize social media and uh, maximize your social media. You know, uh, social media, um, I guess, maximize it. And if you don't see that it is, if it's benefiting to you, then that's why, they, that's the, that's why they say maximize. You know, if it's not beneficial to you, but I guess you should try to make it beneficial to you. So, you know, maximize your social media. How, how often are you on social media? Are you posting? In other words, above, I have 15 different flavors of lip gloss. Am I posting, you know, am I posting different pictures, you know, two, three, two or three times a day, you know, mixing matches? And in other words, if I have 15 plain flavors, I can also have 15 uh, lip gloss twos, you know, with two, two flavors, two colors. And you also have three. So that creates a whole lot of pictures. So when I met him, when I uh, mix and match, you know, go outside, take some pictures, go down by the water, take some pictures, take some some pictures inside, take some pictures here, take some pictures there, and then so you know, post them on social media. You have your Instagram, uh, your Twitter, your Facebook, and a maximize. So you know, you have to post daily, and then sometimes you know, and if you have if you have to post the same pictures, well, nothing wrong with that. And then, like I said previously in my other videos, you want good quality photos. You know, don't want to run, don't take nobody else else's photos. You want to, um, you know, post your own photos. Take, I mean, I had just bought, I just purchased me an iPhone, so that is what I want to use with my uh, to take my photos. So, so that's how I want to do that. See, so I purchased me an iPhone. So what I will do when I take my photos. I take my photos from my iPhone and I'll go I'll go to my Instagram. I go to my Instagram and uh so don't know if you can let me see. Go to my Instagram and sometimes you can't see too much light, but you know, this is a uh, Apple. So I go to my Instagram and what I do in other words, if I have my tablet, if I want to post my pictures of my tablets, then I want to have me, you know, some material, uh, material in the background. Let's see, I do have my material. Let me see.
So what I want to do, if I want to do my pictures, this is just these are just for my photos, and I can pull out anything else. So what I do, I take my, you know, I do something like this, and I lay, I lay this in the background. Mhm. Mm so that would be, uh, you know, the way I would do one of my photos, and then also I can take it, and I have. So when I put my So when I put my photos like this, uh, I'll put this to be in the background and also I'll put my business cards. I'll put my business cards. I'll put my business cards in other words. So I'll have that like that. And then I may have my business cards. Something like that. But you know, that may be, you know, once I lay them down, I can I can take it better when I lay them down. So I can take it better when once I lay my you know my my product down and then I you know use my iPhone to take my pictures and then let's see what the next one is. So next we have uh okay we talked about uh maximizing social media. Next one is focus on professional development, quality, professional development and quality. Focus on professional development and quality. So in other words, professional development, you want to act like a professional, you know, with your, your you know, starting out, I guess, actually, starting out with the way you act, the way you, uh, the way you treat your customers, act professional, you know, act professional at all times, you know, create a good uh, customer service strategy, also packaging, professional. It's professional to... Like they said, you know, don't have people DMing you in your uh, Instagram, on your Instagram. You know, try to have I uh, I don't care if it's an Android phone, say, you know, get you an Android phone and, you know, use that as your business phone. Have people call you on that. Basically, the best thing to do probably would be to have a website. You can go to Big Cartel. Big Cartel, they have free websites. Well, actually, I have me a free website right now. You can have a free website, uh, but you can only have five products. So set that up. Set your business website up. Set your Instagram up. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, all those are free uh, marketing tools that you can use. You know, so I am definitely going to take advantage of those. So I have, a tw I have to set up a, a business Twitter. I haven't done that yet. I have a personal Twitter, but I will set up my uh, business Twitter. I do have a business Instagram that I'll be putting my... Uh, business products on so I don't have a business Facebook yet, but I do have a uh, Instagram I have an Instagram and a website. So in my website, this is my logo and this is right on my website So big cartel they have a, you start out with five products. You can get a website uh, For free five products, but then they have another uh, step up is $9.99. I think it's 50 products for $9.99 then they have another one. I don't I forget how many Products on the I think they have a third one, but I forgot what they cost. So I I find that out. I can post, you know, uh, put the link down in my uh, you know, in in, in this video. Uh, so I'll find that out. So you know, well, the first one is free. So if you just start the business and you don't have a lot of money, it's ways to do it. You can, like I said, depend on what type of business you want. Say, for instance, you want you want to start making lip glosses. You want to start, you want a hair. You know, bundles, you know, like these bundles here, these right here, you know, you find, uh, find you a vendor, but now I, I heard that some of these vendors are giving these people trouble, you know, giving some of the uh, businesses trouble. And I went out, cause I looked at YouTube and one lady, she spent $800 to order something from China. See, all the vendors are coming from China. But, uh, if you look at YouTube, I found a, uh, vendor, she's a U.S. vendor, United States vendor. So, you know, I, so if I find a link, I'll put it down below. So she, you know, that way you can order stuff from her. So it's a lot of vendors coming. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, these, uh, businesses, uh, you know, becoming vendors. Because for us to have to worry about dealing with China and, and waiting so long, you gotta wait a whole month for your product. 
and we have to wait to find us coming from another country. You know, it's good. That's good that some of these uh, local businesses are, you know, turning into business because that's exactly what we need. So, like I said, it depends on what business you want to start. You know, you think about what is your budget. What is your budget? You know, so what is your budget? Are you, you know, do you want to spend a hundred dollars, five hundred, or you just want to start with fifty dollars? So whatever your budget is. So that might be one of my, uh, you know, on, that might be on my to do list. Okay, the next one we have. A powerful brand will also help you draw quality workers to your business. So, in other words, if you're going to be a big company and you want to, you want to draw um, uh, good workers, quality workers, you know. So, build your brand, and then you always have to have people around you because you, sometimes you have the wrong people around you, and it's always a problem. So, screening workers, screening workers, screening employees is, is a very is a must. So. Takes dedication, you know, uh, dedication and drive, you know. So you want don't want to pick nobody that's uh, not going to help your brand grow, you know. Say a powerful brand will also help you draw quality workers. So in other words, if you have already, so what that means is you have already created a powerful brand, and that would draw in, you know, uh, great workers, great employees. So the next one we have is. Spend time uh, attending networking events. Spend time, um, spend time attending networking events. That way you can learn. You want to network in events, uh, you can pull in employees, pull in uh, customers and investors. You know, investors see what you're doing in your business and you already created a quality product, a quality, uh, quality service. And then you go to some of these networking events. So networking means sharing information. You sharing information and they see what you're doing. They might say, hey, I like what you're doing. You know, I want to, I want to get involved. Can we have a consultation? Let's talk. Let me, let me, let's meet. Let's go out to lunch, you know. So I like what you're doing. You know, you're creating a quality product. I see, you know, I did some research on your business. You have a, uh, you know, you have a great business plan. You have, um, you know, you're all around, you're all around good company, you know, I did some research on you and I kind of like what you're doing. I like your products that you're offering. I like your uh, Instagram. I like your uh, website. You know, I like everything about your company. So can we talk? So that's networking. So then we have uh, another one. Next one, focus on corporate social responsibility. So... What is your corporate social responsibility? You know, you have a so you have a social responsibility to to be social in your community. You have a corporate social responsibility to, um, I guess, uh, help other companies. You know, corporate social responsibility. What is your social responsibility? Are you giving back to your community? You know, are you uh, are you? I guess. Are you doing any research on other companies, you know? So what is your corporate, find out what your corporate social responsibility is. So basically being social, being social with your, your I guess your employees, your your uh, customers, your employees, your, uh, your neighborhoods, your communities, communities in which you live, other communities that you may be able to help share what you're doing with your business. Hey, what you doing? Uh, hey, I'm, I'm I'm uh, I'm in cosmetics, you know. Can I help? You know. So people know what you are in, what kind of type of business you are in, and you know they might have uh, information for you. So that's why I say bringing in, bringing in those information systems and you know technology and technology um bringing them tech bringing that technology in your in your in your corporation information technology. So that helps you keep up with the trends in the market. Help you. Uh, with your, you know, customers, your customers, your employees, you know, manufacturers, suppliers. And the next one I have is um, uh, find out what works. What works, you know, find out what works in your company. What works if you, if you are doing something and you, you are implementing strategies, plans, uh, you creating products, just marketing products. Uh, <clears throat> and things are not working, so you have to find out what works. 
you know, what marketing channels are you using? Are you uh, just using, are you just using Facebook? And you find out that that's not working. So then they say, maybe I need to take my company over to Instagram. I need to take my company over to Twitter and see how that works. You know, text message marketing, email marketing. I want to send out some text message messages. And see, because you can send out text messages and with pictures of your products. Pictures of your products. Say, hey, this product is going to drop. I'm launching this new product line. And say, I have a, a new, um, I have some new colors in my lip gloss line. You know, and I'll, you know, send it out in a text message. You know, I have some new colors in my lip gloss line. I have, uh, I just added uh, a new body butter to my product line. You know, so you send those out. Send those type of things out in your uh, text messages. You know, you have to definitely create a text message marketing list. They tell you to create an email list, so why not a create a text, mes text message marketing list? That way you get a list, you know, who to... To who to text, you know, send those texts to those text messages. So then the next one I have is, uh, don't give up. Don't give up. You know, be creative. Don't give up. Um, I think that's the last one. Oh, uh, no, I think I got a couple more right here. I got a few more. Okay, go beyond your logo. Go beyond your logo. You created a beautiful logo, but go beyond, you know. Build that strong, um, build that strong presence, I guess I would say, in the marketplace. Go beyond your logo. In other words, I create a logo. I have to go beyond that. I have to create a uh, positive, uh, ethical, trustworthy, uh, uh, I guess I would say, you know, a brand. I would have to create all of that. I want to create that and I want to be a positive influence uh in the minds of my customers how do my customers look at me how do they look at my company you know what 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 type of company are you running you know are you running an ethical company or uh, trustworthy do you have a trustworthy brand quality product quality service great customer service uh are you innovative creative uh are you on social media are you posting daily are you Giving back to your communities? Are you, um, uh, are you, you know, helping the customer instead of saying, you know, are you giving, are you offering promotions? Are you giving out sample products, free products? Uh, uh, having contests, you know, sometimes you have to step back and look at your company to see what you are doing wrong or what you are doing right and you want to keep on doing, you know, keep on doing what you're doing. If you're doing, if it's positive, and it's paying off, then that's what you want to do. Okay, it says um, your brand. Your brand is everything. Your brand is a public personification of your company, conveying everything you believe and hold dear about about what you do. So all that is included in your brand. So conveying everything you believe and hold dear about what you do. So in other words, you're creating a quality product, a quality service, and you want to make sure that, you know, that you uh, adhere to your customers and your employees' needs. So in other words, your, customers, your employees and your customers are very important in your business. Because without your employees, you really have no business. Because I know I remember when I was doing security. And the company that I was working for, I won't name the company, but uh, the company that I was working for, um, yes, the company that I was working for, uh, you know, so... They have to, uh, well, they was, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, you work for a company and you know that that's not really the place you want to be. I mean, I love what I was doing, security guard. I was a security guard. But uh, sometimes you know that uh, I want to be here. I want to help the company, you know, but this is, you know, I don't like, sometimes you might not like things that goes on in your company. You might not like, you might say, hey, look, well, I haven't got no raises in a long time. And uh, it's just a lot of standing on my feet. I mean, you know, it, it could be a nice company, but it could be some downfalls. It could be some, I guess you would call some, some, you know, you look at the pros and cons. You say, well, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be here too long. So then, then, you know, hey, it's time for me to move on. So that's why I say conveying everything, uh, conveying everything you believe. And hold dear about what you do. 
if you don't have nothing and you work for this company and you don't hold nothing dear about what you're doing, then you might say, well, you know what, I want to move on. And so it's the same thing if you're running your own company. You say, well, you know, this is not working. This is not working. The customers are not responding. So I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on, you know, to maybe some other products. These products are not working. So then I also have um, um, advice for a girl boss. In other words, if you want to be a girl boss, you're a girl boss. What advice uh, What advice would you have for another girl boss? In other words, you've got your business. What advice do you have that is um, that you can help somebody else out with, you know, that's running their business? And I think that's the last one, advice for a girl boss. Yeah, I think that was the last one. That was the last one. So, and another thing you can also do is establish a support team. Family, peers, friends, mentors. Uh, always assess your business idea. Find out how how the niche. Find out how the niche. Find out how the niche you're getting into works. So in other words, if you're into a certain, like I'm doing lip glosses and body butters and hair growth balms, so I need to find out uh, more about the market that I'm getting into. So I'm getting, I'm getting into the cosmetic industry, so I need to find out a whole lot about that industry. So sometimes we tend to jump into these markets and we don't know a whole lot about them. We don't know how the customers want to take to our products. We don't know if the products that we're going to offer, anybody's going to like them. But nine times out of ten, you know, I think the lip gloss industry, the cosmetic industry, rather, is kind of booming. I would say it's booming. I think that's the last. I think that's the last one. Let's see. Also, I have. Uh, oh, and also, when you once you start, assess your strengths and weaknesses. And set, assess the strengths and weaknesses of your competition. Of yourself too, I guess, of your own business. Uh, find out what drives the interest of your audience. Look for opportunities that are just waiting to be discovered in your niche. My niche would be probably, like I said, lip glosses, uh, hair growth uh, bombs uh, for you know people that work for uh, alopecia, people that's trying to grow out their hair. So that would be my niche. And body butter, you know, body butter, dry skin. You know, people that have dry skin, I want to create some balms, you know, for dry skin. You know, something that softens your skin, something that moisturizes your skin. I think that's the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. So, as I said, when you're starting a business, uh, you want to make sure, you know, depending on what type of business you're starting. Yeah, you might be starting a whatever you want to deal with hair. Whatever you want to start a hair business, you, you know. Um... Say, for instance, uh, you want to sell bundles, you want to sell bundles, you want to make weeds, you know, so you want to do that or you want to do lip gloss or you want to start a clothing line. I have seen and heard of uh, people starting businesses businesses that, um, you know, selling just socks, all different color socks, uh, all different color socks for men, women, and children, all different colors, all different sizes. That's a good business. And then some people just start like an eyelash business, you know, just selling all eyelashes, but I never wore no eyelashes before, but uh, I had to do a little more research on those eyelashes, so, because I was wondering, you know, they put them on and they had to put the glue around there. I'm wondering, would the glue eventually damage your real eyelashes? That's, that's the thing that you have to know, because I'm thinking putting that glue on on your, your eyelashes on a daily basis and then sticking those on, you don't want to damage your own eyelashes and had them fall out so you know I would do some more research on that because I don't I never wore them before never wore them before never even tried them on but you know so I didn't mind getting into eyelashes so that would be I wouldn't mind adding that to my product line so so I guess that is it so like I said um so to re recap on what I was saying I said um uh um, when I say marketing plan, business plan, get your tablet, eliminate strategies that do not work, uh, remain relevant, focus more on those things that bring satisfactory results. So if you find out that you're doing something in your business and that business and you're not profiting, you're not you're not satisfying your customers, <coughs> then that's those are the things that you eliminate. 
Focus more on those things that bring satisfactory results. Don't let obstacles prevent you from uh, doing better. Know your com competitors. Know who your competitors are. So like I said, I'm venturing out into the cosmetic industry. I definitely want to know who my competitors are. Uh, I can uh, network and find out some complimentary businesses that we can work together sometimes. And sometimes you can help one another. Help one another. Hey, what you doing? How you doing your business? How you do? You know, well, how, whatever you want to talk about. You know, networking. Uh, so um, I think that's it. That was it. I was just reiterating on a few of those things. So what I want to do now is um, so my business, like I said, I don't want to be doing some lip glosses, some hair growth balm, and some body butters and. Like I said, these are by, these are my, these are my, uh, business cards. And I also want to have probably some other business cards made up. So these are, those are my business cards. And then I have also... And then, uh, these are also some, uh, thank you cards. So, you know, thank you cards that I have. Uh, so with all of them, all of them do have my pink, you know, the uh, pink. So they are, uh, and these are the other ones that I do have. Um, yeah, so, um. So, uh, those are the things, and then, uh, I do have, uh, you know, labels, different labels that I have. Different labels that I do have for, you know, certain products that I will be offering, you know, I had these printed up through, you can also go, I got these printed up from, uh, Avery.com. Avery.com and uh, these are some of the little, little uh, labels. So these labels will go on your products. So in other words, and those labels go on your products. So. In other words, uh, you know, I have, uh, I take labels like these. Take labels like those and then see they, like these are my body butters, body butters. These are my body butters. Yeah, so these are my body butters. So I take my labels. And also, so since I'm going to be doing my uh, <clears throat> lip gloss, uh, I'm going to be doing my lip gloss. Um, you know, lip gloss, I mean, I'll make a different flavors. So what I'll be doing is so in other words, I have uh, in other words, I have uh, in other words, I have when I choose my oils, so these are uh, vitamin E, vitamin E oils for my lip glosses. So when I chose vitamin E, I can tell you that vitamin E is good for your skin. And I have, I did do a whole lot of research. So let me see if I can find the vitamin E. Uh,
So I don't see it. Okay. Okay, let's look for um the Java oil. Okay. Another oil that I did choose for my uh you know jojoba oil. So jojoba oil. So I chose this for my uh you know back of my lip glosses. I got jojoba oil. And this is my vitamin E oil. And the reason why I chose jojoba oil is because it has omega-3, jojoba oil, omega-3 fatty acid, and it mim mimics human sebum natural. It's a natural oil produced, produced by the skin. So jojoba oil is one of the natural oils produced by the skin. So that's why I chose uh, jojoba oil. And then I also have, uh, I do have a... Uh, Also, I chose for my lip glosses. I chose a uh, hundred percent castor oil, hundred percent castor oil. And why I chose, I chose castor oil because it is rich in castor oil, rich in omega six fatty acids, and it helps accelerate our uh, hair growth. So that's why I chose castor oil. And then let me see. Then I chose Java, avocado, and I chose uh, avocado oil. I chose, um, then I also chose avocado oil, hundred percent pure. Avocado oils. I chose avocado oils because it combats uh it combat it combats oxidative hair damage and it's less less inflammation uh, on the scalp. It helps prevent less inflammation on the scalp. So that's why I chose this avocado oil. So just like you put avocado in your um you know, on your toes and your food, you know, it is good. It's good for your hair and it's good for your skin. So that's why I chose avocado oil. So then I have uh, also, I chose, uh, okay, this is just another vitamin E oil that I chose. Uh, let's see, jojoba. Okay, I also chose, um, okay, I talked about castor oil. I don't, I have a list of different oils that I don't, I didn't choose, but, uh, I have some other oils. Okay, I do have, uh, let's see, do I have this one? Okay, I do. I have uh, almond oil that I chose, 100% uh, almond oil. Hundred percent almond oil. Hundred percent almond oil. Uh, I chose almond oil because it's uh, fatty acids, uh, contains vitamin E, 
uh, promotes hair growth, strengthens the hair, uh, it seals in moisture, improves hair shine, prevents breakage, relieves dryness and, and inflammation. So that's why I chose almond oil. So these will be going for my lip gloss, uh, in my lip gloss and in my hair, uh, hair care products. So, uh, creating hair growth in, uh, babies, you can use castor oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, sesame oil, and argan oil. So, and so that is that for that. And then, so these are the oils that I chose for my lip glosses and my skincare products. So, so also, um, I think that is all I had. I think that's all I had to talk about. So, but what I want to say is, uh, wrapping things up, these will be on my website. These will be on my website. So, so, so in other words, like I said, one of my, um, so like I said, one of my tips that I gave uh you know tablet you don't have to necessarily have those tablets but they will be on my website so my tips are you know starting a business you maintaining a business you try to go your business you know your marketing plan slash business plan uh you know get your tablet jot down everything you need to uh jot down you know what type of business are you going to run uh you you know you want to start out just selling on Amazon, eBay, Etsy. Uh, you can also sell them. I mean, you can advertise on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. You know, advertise on there. Create you, you know, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, Big Cartel. Get a website, Big Cartel. Uh, create a business name. You know, Google. When you create a business name, Google. Go to Google. G O O G L E. Google the name. Make sure you're not picking a name someone else has, you know. Sometimes I think it's best to, you know, use your own name. Like I created my name from my from my name, Shirley Cosmetics. So my name is Cheryl. So Shirley is just something simple, something simple. So Google the name, and I did Google that to make sure nobody else had that name. And I did notice somebody had Cheryl Lee, but it's spelled as C H E R Y L, and then L E E. So that's the name of that business. Cheryl, C H E R Y L, and then L E E, was two separate names. So for mine is Shirley, and that's one word. So, you know, go to Google, Google the name, you know. If you don't want to get a business license and all that right off the bat, you want to do like me, you just want to test the waters. You want to test the waters and see if your product is going to, you know, see how you're going to do, how you're going to do in the minds of your customers, your target market customers. You know, so, um, you know, you know, you get your, you know, like I said, pick your business name. You know, even if you don't, you want to, you just want to get into sales. You want to sell on eBay, Etsy, uh, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. You just want to sell on those platforms. I mean, you could advertise on those platforms and then send the people right over to your website, have your Instagram. So if you want to do that, and then you just want to see how things go. You know, you don't want to just jump out there and get a, you know, because I had an LLC before. I don't want to just jump out there and get another LLC because that's a lot of money. You know, LLC, limited liability company, and, you know, that costs a certain amount of money. You had to pick your name, and then you have to, uh, had to pick your name. Then you have to have a license for that. Then you have to have, uh, um, uh, what you call it, an operating license. Then you have to pay for a registered agent, which they, I, I looked at a lot of YouTube videos. And no one talks about the registered agent. So I learned that the hard way. Excuse me. $250. $250 every year. 
You have to get a registered agent because what they do, they do your paperwork. So they lawyers, you know, I have was checking with legal zoom, but you know, my cousin a lawyer, I could have checked with him on that. But um what they do, they do your paperwork, they get yeah, I guess they get all your paperwork together, paperwork together. In other words, when it's time to do your taxes for your business and if if um you got any issues or uh, somebody trying to sue you or something come up, you know, then they probably will handle that. So they basically offering a service. So it's something that they, it's a service that they offer and they charge you 250 a year. And I'm trying to find out how can you come up with something cheaper than that, $250 a year. I mean, that shouldn't be like that. I mean, you're a small business, you're just starting out. You might, what if you can't generate, what if you're not even generating 250 a year? You know, you're starting out with a fee like that. You know, so that's, you know, that's why I said, you know, think about that. So in other words, you got to pay yourself for your license. It's all money to start these businesses. But um, I figure that could be money using your, for your, building your inventory, building your money for building your inventory, money, money to put into your marketing and your advertising and your branding. You know, money has to go in those areas too. You have to market, you have to advertise, you have to promote, you have to uh, create a business plan, you have to, excuse me, you have to find out where your customers are, where are your customers, where are you going to target your customers at, all that takes money, you have to do pictures, you have to take pictures, you know, you don't want to do no photo shoot or nothing like that, you know, spending a whole lot of money, but you can, you know, like me, I created my little, little I created my little, um, I just created my little studio right here, and I created my little studio right here, and then, you know, I'll get other things to set up. I mean, I can do other things later on, uh, other little things that I can put, you know, posters of my business uh, back on the wall, and it's, you know, different things you can do. I'm telling you, you have to take advantage of the space that you do have, so I've been in different places with my house. You know, creating videos, shooting videos. So, like I said, so um, you um, you know, starting a business. Like I said, you just want to have. I mean, even if you, if you even if you don't create, even if you don't consider yourself a business, it's still good. You know, pick a name, create a label. So that was in other words, when you're sending out products, you know, when you're sending out products, you know, buy some labels. You know, so they look good. You know, put your little labels on there like this. You know, even if you don't want to consider yourself a, uh, as a business, you still, you know, Avery.com, uh, Mrprint.com, business cards. So, you know, labels, labels on here, labels on my, uh, uh, labels on my, uh, not labels on my, yeah, labels on my products, labels on my products. Uh, thank you cards, uh, thank you cards, uh, Vistaprint. Mrprint.com. Mrprint.com. Uh, like I said, business cards, business cards. So, so in other words, even if you, even if you're not starting out as a business, and you just want to say, hey, I want to sell, but you know, if you make, you know, you just want to get into sales, you can sell your products. See if you can get an account with Amazon, eBay, Etsy, uh, Poshmark. You know, download the Poshmark app. You know, and you put some things on Poshmark. And you don't have to worry about no business license because you're selling under those folks and they already had their licenses. So that's probably the way I'm going to start out. But I just wanted to create, so in other words, I want to create a logo, create my label. So uh, when I do have my products, in other words, I make my lip glosses. I have I have some labels that's coming. Matter of fact, they should be here today. So clear labels. And uh, so like I said, you know, you, you, you know you're not... Consider yourself a business, you just want to sell, you know, but you make $400, you just make sure you file your taxes uh, and your tax man, whoever does your taxes can put it down as business income. So you make 400 or more, you write it, you put it down as business income on your taxes. So, you know, because Uncle Sam just want to make sure he gets a part of the pie, you know. So in other words, you, you, you know, you're not considering yourself as a business, but if you do, and you feel like you want to go all out, and you know, you have that money and ready, uh, you know, I wouldn't, you know, I mean, I, I can't tell you not to do legal Zoom, but I think they're kind of expensive, but uh, just go to your state, you know, go to your state's website, uh, uh, Washington, D.C., we have Consumer Regulatory Affairs, you know, you go there and just browse over the website, browse over the website and, you know, 
see what everything costs, or in whatever state you live in, you know, then you go to IRS.gov and you get an EIN number, get an EIN number, it's free. It's free on the IRS website, but a lot of people try to sell those EIN numbers. You know, go to IRS.gov, IRS.gov, and those EIN numbers are free. So, when you, you know, file your taxes, you have that. Um, so, when you Find your taxes because that way you know that you, uh, this is my law law that I always get, you know, these law laws right here. This is my last one, too. So, what I do, I don't like to drink out of here, so I'll put it in here. I always put it in here. And sometimes, you know, So like I said, um, and then also you can get these. These are Amazon.com. So what you do? So what I do is I turn on it. Turn the red button on, and then I type in uh, whatever I want to type in. So see, when I type in what I want to type in, I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, type in what you want to type in, and then hit print, hit print, and see how it comes out. come out once it come out and then you know share the cosmetics and when I type it in yep so only thing is this paper right here uh, This paper right here does not stick, so I'll have to probably buy some glue. I'll have to buy some kind of glue. Other than that, you know, so you get these. These, I mean, I didn't pay for twenty dollars for this. So you know, if you strap for cash and you don't want to order no, uh, you don't want to order no, you know, things from uh, Mr. Brent. But so, like I said, but you know, you get one of those. It's twenty dollars. You can print out your own. They cost twenty dollars. So. You know, try to go the low cost way. So, but I got, you know, thank you cards and everything from Mr. Print. I have labels. And, uh, thank you cards, labels, business cards. So, um, like I said, um, they also have Wix, you know, Wix, website from Wix. I think they cost, I think they're like $12 a month. So you have Wix. Website from Wix, you have Big Cartel, and also Vista Print, they have websites. So, low cost way, I would go to say, okay, I guess I would say it's two ways you can start your business. The first way I would say, you know, make your plan, make your business plan, marketing plan, get your tablet. You want to go the low cost way, I would say, uh, create a website, uh, what's the name, um, uh, Big Cartel, you have a free website. Uh, big cartel, and then you know what type of business you want to start. You know, you gotta think about inventory. How much you want to spend on inventory? What's your budget? You know, inventory. Um, say for instance, just want to, you want to do lip gloss, lip gloss. Um, uh, want to do lip gloss business. So what you do, you know, you have uh, T TKB. You can order some um, uh, lip gloss tools from them or uh, Amazon, and also check out YouTube. YouTube. Um, Check out YouTube. You, YouTube has plenty of businesses, so you won't have to worry about just relying on Amazon. 
YouTube has businesses like me. I'm a small business. Now, YouTube has businesses. I have loaded things on my website yet, but I will be doing some things like that too where people can probably order some lip gloss tubes for me, some wand tubes, uh, lip gloss tubes. Probably by the end of this week, I'm hoping to have uh, things on my site. But YouTube, go on there and you can find out. They, they, they're selling starter kits. A lot, of these, a lot of these young ladies are selling starter kits where they got the box, where you get to the uh, base. They sell the lip gloss base. Uh, a lot of these, you know, they have the starter kits where well, they're selling a lip gloss base. See, so yeah, I have it. I, I probably will be putting some on my website too. Uh, Shirley Cosmetics. Uh, lip gloss base. So, you know, on the website, you know, uh, lip gloss base. So, uh, order one of your starter, order one of these starter kits uh, from some of these businesses on YouTube. Uh, you can get your starter kit, you can get your base, you can get your lip gloss tubes. You know, I think some of them, some of them, I think I saw one for 50 and some of them are 60. You know, just shop around, go to YouTube. If you, you know, your money is kind of short. Your money is kind of short, then you order, you know, say, hey, I'll go get one of these kits. They got the tubes in there, squeeze tubes, wand tubes, uh, lip gloss base. Uh, pipettes. Uh, also, I have all that I need. Uh, yep, so they have, you know, <coughs> these are your pipettes. You yeah, have your lip gloss tubes, pipettes, syringes. I have, I have everything I need. I'm just waiting on a few other things. So, I'll probably be offering things like this on my website too. Uh, lip gloss tubes, uh, syringes, uh, my pipettes. Uh, well, like I said, uh, and then I have all my oils and stuff over here. All my oils. So, I have my, you know, pipettes and all that. These are all my oils. This is my vitamin E oil. So all my little, you know, oils, and like I say, check with YouTube, check with YouTube, and you know, you want to start, or if you don't want to do lip gloss, you're doing hair, you know. Also, if you want to get a vendor, you know, like I said, you know, check with YouTube, because they have some of these young ladies, they're, they're starting to be a U.S. Uh, vendor, you know, we don't have it, we, we shouldn't have to get everything from China, and then it takes like a whole month sometimes for you know, for orders to come from China. So, check on YouTube, you know, everything you need for your lip gloss uh, business. YouTube, even even a hair business, you want to start selling bundles, you want to make wigs, you know, you want to start a clothing business, you want to start a, a sock business. They got very uh, enlightening um, information right there on YouTube. So I'm trying to create quality uh, videos and give you good information. So like I said, Wix, you want a website, Wix. Go to YouTube. You, I mean, there's a lot of young ladies with different businesses, you know. Get your tablet. Like I said, I'm marketing tablets on my on my page, but you can go somewhere and get you a tablet that's not custom made like mine and you don't have to pay as much. So, you know, uh, sit down and write your plan, marketing plan, business plan. Uh, get your tablet, you know. Um, you know, what products are you going to offer? What's the, you know, what, 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 what name are you going to call your business? You know, are you going to jump out there and get a business license? Or you do, you just want to sell on Amazon, eBay, or Etsy? You know, they say you can sell in those marketplaces and you can market your products, you know. Also, you know, Vistaprint, uh, Avery.com, Vistaprint.com, like I said, uh, you know, and then these little jobs I got from uh, Amazon. These are jobs from Amazon, and so what I did, you know, these will be for my body butters. My body butters, little jobs. So then I had some other jobs coming that I owned. So these are four ounces, but I had some other uh, outside. I had some eight ounce jobs too. I had some eight ounce jobs that I'm ordering, they probably be here on the weekend. So, like I said, um, just start small. You know, you want to do hair or you want to do lip gloss or whatever you want to, you know, you want to make up line. 
I mean, you want to be the next Cali Jenner, you know, next Cali Cosmetics. Uh, we also have um, Fenty Beauty, you know, so makeup. I don't wear makeup, but that's a good business to be in, you know, because you're thinking about something that's um, uh, much needed. Something that's in demand right now, you know, makeup, lip gloss, hair. Those three are in demand. A lot of people wear makeup, a lot of people wear wigs, a lot of people wear lip gloss, so... And a clothing line is good too. Your clothing line, you know, socks or whatever you want, you know. But you know, so start out with your plan. Start out with your tablet, your plan. Uh, then uh, type of business, you know. Pick a name, you know. Even if you just want to sell on those different platforms like Amazon, it's still it's still good to get good packaging, custom packaging, regular packaging, you know. So in other words, if you don't have a if you're not operating as a business and you're just in the sales and you have and you're selling on Amazon on eBay, Etsy, it's still packaging still is important. So you know, think about how you can order those nice boxes. And then I have some clear labels coming. So you know, Avery.com, Vistaprint.com for all your business needs. Vistaprint is another place I I used to buy things from Nebs. So I don't know if they're still in business, but you can check them out too. Nebs, any I think it's nebbs.com. So nabs have things too. So, but like I said, you know, labels and logos uh, on everything. So these I'll be marketing to on my website. So I did. I also have some more coming. I have some more that I ordered with. Some, you know, they a little different in the front. But um, so like I said, website, products, inventory. Uh, find your budget. How much you want to spend? You know, um, you know, like I said, if you get to a point where you're making four hundred or more, just Put it down on your taxes, even if you don't have, uh, uh, even if you're not operating as a business, you didn't go out there and get no business license. Sometimes you don't have to do that right away. You know, it's just, you know, you make 400 or more. I think it's 400 per year. 400 per year uh, on your, you know, you put it down on your taxes as you're working or you have another job or, you know, you put it down as business income. As a tax man, put it down as business income. Sometimes you might not want to get a business license right away. You might want to say, hey, I'll wait a minute. I want to see how things going to take off. I want to see how uh, my customers uh, like to my brand. How they take to my brand. You know, how they take to my brand. So, I think I'm going to close for the day. Uh, uh, and, um, I want to say thanks for joining me. So I just want to talk a little bit about uh, business. And I'm also, I do have, uh, I have a lot of things that I you know, need for my business. These are also my pigments. So these are my pigments. So I have, I think these are, uh, the 36, I believe, 36 different, uh, so these are the pigments. These are the glitters. I keep getting them mixed up. These are the glitters. So these are the pigments for my. These are the pigments for my lip gloss. Lip glosses. It's pigments. So in other words, you have uh, pink and that's blue. So when I do my Instagram pictures, I'll be able to have uh, fifteen. When I do my Instagram pictures, I'll be able to do 15 different colors and then also can, excuse me, double back and put two, you know, put two on, uh, you know, two different colors instead of one. These can be all one color and then I go back and do two. So that's how they go, but I don't want to close this video today, uh, right now, uh, today, yeah, it's still today, but you know. <laughs> But I want to, uh, don't want to make the video too long. And, uh, don't want to make the video too long. Uh, also, these are all the things that I do have. These are my, my, my lip glosses would be one of these when somebody ordered. And then also, I put my kid label on these. These are my, you know, I have this right here. So, these. Buttons right here, you know, for my my uh, skincare products. But I want to say thanks for joining me today, uh, YouTubers. So.
subscribe, subscribe below, comment below. So, you know, if you have any products you want me to review, I will be glad to do that. And uh, so, also, uh, you know, so just check out Avery.com, Vistaprint.com for, you know, everything that you may need. You know, Vistaprint.com, Avery.com. So I have just about all my products but uh, from them. But like I said, I want to start getting things from some of the young ladies on uh, uh, YouTube. I want to uh, acknowledge a lot of these black businesses. I want to I want to acknowledge a lot of these African American businesses and you know Amazon they have good products and you know they they like they are like a network of networks and they deal with you know they have a lot of different companies but I want to support some of these other businesses as well but I want to say thanks for joining me uh, YouTubers and comment subscribe below and I hope to see you on my next uh, video so you know you all have a good one.